you have V books, we're gonna walk in the freezing cold. It's so frigid. It's for the books. <laughs> Anything for the books. Anything for the books. <gasps> what are you hoping to find? I don't I don't buy books. Unless there's one of the books that I have a list of the physical books that I want. So if I find one of those, then maybe. No, I need to. I'm a spender. And you're so real for that. Let's do a haul. Okay, your haul at least. I watch it like every single month. We too. <laughs> We're so similar. We are. It's the white boy of the month. Yes. Oh, of the year. As soon as I found this out, you know that I needed to cut my friend into a buddy read so fast. Started scheming immediately and happy to report that I have successfully made a private book club on Fable where we can buddy read together. Okay, I just want to come on here with the biggest success story of all time. Didn't take a lot of convincing at all. And we did it on Fable. So thank you so much to Fable for sponsoring this video. Best book app ever. It's like social media, but like for books. Different to Goodreads. Like this feels more like social media where like you have like a feed and you can see other people's posts. Like other people's posts, comment. Literally, if you want like a book, hyper specific book rec that you're looking for, you can literally post it and people will answer you. It's free and literally anyone on there can start a book club. It can be like you and like your one best friend. It like sections off your book into like chapters, little discussion boxes and stuff. So you can like literally write all your thoughts in real time and you can see what your friend is doing and all your friend's thoughts too, which is like the best thing ever. And you can set like reading goals and you guys can like support each other with your buddy read. It's so cute. You literally just go into the app, click the little plus button like in the bottom corner and you can start your own private book club. And then if you and your friend join, you guys will each get $5. Like every new person joins gets $5. You can literally buy books on the app and then read it on the app. And while you're reading the book, you guys can like comment and discuss within the book in the app at the same time and like see what each other are saying. I'll have it all linked in the description. He's like so charming in that movie. Yeah. I never watched that movie, but I saw like an edit of the two of them. Mission. I'm talking about this one. Yeah. We're going to place it. We're going to have separation anxiety. Oh, <laughs> First book that I read where there's an Asian girl mm. character, and I was like, if they make a movie, I have to play her. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> See, guys, this is why rep representation this matters. This is why representation matters. Hmm, Charlie Brown, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Millie, really? it's so good. I only care about the couple. Please? I gave you the series. Oh. It's six dollars. Wow, thanks for bringing me here. You're welcome. <laughs> Theo 
James actually changed the course of my life in this movie. He was actually my awakening. You know who was my awakening? The fox from Robin Hood. <laughs> you reacted exactly how I suspected. Styles from Teen Wolf. Oh, Boyd Styles. Oh, yeah, season three. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna buy any books and I'm gonna be buying so many books. Have you on camera, like you Literally said that you would. <laughs> When I thought I wasn't gonna do a haul because I thought I wasn't gonna buy any books, but then turns out so many books that were on my physical books that I want to own in my lifetime books I found in that store. Actually, I didn't. My friend did. Okay, I bought four books, which probably the most amount of books I've ever bought in one time. Um, here they are. I've read all these books and they're like my favorite books of all time that I don't own physical copies of. But I'm so excited. It's my new mission to go through and annotate and reread every single one of these books now that I own them so I can add them to my personal collection. I'm gonna make my kids read them and their kids' kids read them. The first book that I found in that store is this book, Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Look how fat this is. It's in such good condition. And this was like five doll hairs or like six doll. It was $5.99. $5.99, look at that. This is actually the third book in the Chaos Walking series, which is like my favorite series of all time from middle school that I gatekeep. Um, and it's my personal life mission to own the physical copies of these, which means I still need book one and book two. I'm so happy that I found this cover of it because this is like the original first edition cover, which are the ones that I want to own if I can, but I'm not that picky. Yeah, I was talking about this with my friend, but I'm like not one of those people who care if their series like match up. Also, I think it's kind of fun and quirky. If they're all mismatched because then you can remember where each book came from. It has a story to it. Either way, I'm really glad that I own this one, but I really want the first and second one. This is like a sci-fi dystopian post-apocalyptic. It has a movie with Tom Holland that flopped. Um, it's that movie where he has like a country accent in it. In this world, everyone can hear everyone else's noise. And it follows Todd, who meets a girl, which is the first girl that he's ever met and she has no noise. And it's so good. Nothing has ever topped relationship development. Like, next was the big fish. It's the first two books in the Darkest Mind series by Alexandra Brackett. The third book is in, in the afterlight or something like that. So I still need to find that book and once I have that, I'll have the entire series. Stop. Everyone needs to shut the hell up right now because um, unfortunately it's not the original cover. I don't think they sell the original ones anymore which is so sad to me because I really want the original ones if I can but like I said, I don't really care that much. This has a movie that I rewatch every single month. Every every single month. And you guys know, this is one of my favorite trilogies of all time that imprinted on me when I was in middle school. All of these, all of these imprinted on me. Dystopia, again, is in a world where this disease eviscerated all the children and the ones that remain all have like no superpowers. But then the government are like hunting them all down. But Ruby and Liam are my everything in this series. Like if you love the series and you love Ruby and Liam, we are actually best friends. Like. I just trust you implicitly, like, you can babysit my children. Last book is also another last book in the series. It is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater, which is from the Raven Cycle series. Also, again, a book series that heavily, heavily imprinted on me. Heavy on the found family slow burn romance, understated slow burn romance. Like, I've never seen it done as well as this. Unfortunately, this is the last book, which is... Probably the one that I care about the least low-key, but I have the first book from ages ago, like my sister had it. I now have the fourth book, but I need the second and third book. And the second and third ones are my favorite ones. So I really need to get on my ground and find those. Low-key, the plot of this makes no sense. I, to this day, I don't know what happened to this plot, but who cares because everyone's here for the characters and the found family and the romance. Found family of these group of boys, one girl. Boys all go to this private school, but they're all on this wild goose hunt. Um, It's confusing, but no one cares. It, we're all here for the vibes and the romance. That's it. Those are all the books. Successful trip, if you ask me. That's for this video it was great thank you guys for watching um subscribe down below if you haven't already follow me on my socials all links in the description i'll see you all in the next one bye good fortune sylvie